nge zamura mabo kutugiri mana zamura mabo kuyivigizu umutima wawe tuyivigire yivigiri chinu wonva umutima wawe ufitubgova ufitagahinda urishimye ufite imhonje nje ufite ichyo mbabarira tukwe gutera nuto chibgie yesu chiza ni mwuzi umosarabu mana data mwizina rija yesu kristu turawanga wa njene turaba warunguru tijie chose tukwa ramyaga kukuri hano turabze meruri hano reba mumiti mayachu ngami nda kusaba runguru kumuti maburi wese zamuri chibira mumuti maburi wese mwore la kuchibira mumuti maburi mwono wese chizamuru jitere kimbere yeneza chane mwami wanje umubugiru tichona chonda chizi ichona chonda chizi ichona chonda chizi kandi nda jikora ho mwami mani jira neza nda kusaba nguyu mwonsi bitambo bjimi bili yachu Imibiri tukwa teru ya tukwa iza na hano mwuru senjero. Imitima ya tu ichai mwumibiri ya tu. Nda kusawa nguicho jitambo chikuberi imhumuro nziza. Imitima ya tu yibone, umoku ubone, ubu jingo, nibiba mwabzios, ubibone, uyumunsi bije kubire nje vzao. Uyumunsi bijo subi hache, uyumunsi bijo subi tejeke, uyumunsi wime, uyumunsi utahe mwubu jingo wabgaburi wese. Nda kuinji nga nhajiru kuimu umubiri we, nhajiru kuimu uzima wge. Jendelera, nda kuize nda kuzi, nuburi hura vuga, nuburi hura vuga, nuburi hura saba, ngo wanye merela na kuinjira, wanye merela na wananawe, kandu mutkwara wanye nhorusha, nhabu meze nghibzo bziaha, nhabu meze nghako gahinda, nhabu meze nghibzo yuazo, ibza nje biroroshe, ngami yesu komeza uivujire, ngo haye bjose, nanje nda kui haye muraka kanya, ngami nanje ibzo nyuzamo, uivujire mngami. Ijambo rya umugitondo rya tubwiye ngo mu ijambo rya uraryohereza ugahanurira magufa yumye mwami akayiba mazima agahagarara akabingabo bibe bityo uyu munsi mu izina rya Yesu mwami kuko warapfuye urazuka reka ubuzima bwo kuzuka uyu munsi busohokane natwe mu mpera amashyi umwami Yesu mani bahamu kisha mu Nsaba amashyi yabaririmbye Please let appreciate the worship team. Yes, Ashimi Chan. That's Jesus indeed. Yeah, Jumi. Yeah, Jumi. Hari konda Ashimi. Nangebo. I want to thank them in particular. Jira niyang humva kariri mboka zamu kamurinje. Sometimes I feel a song in my heart. Na kawasa wangi wazini wazami nyaho wabi pachira. And when I ask them, I wonder whether they'll be able to manage. Hari konda Ashimi man. But I'm thankful to God. Akariri mbo batubzini ebuga nyuma. And even the last song. Ngoya taba wowe. If it was not you. Ngomba na raji eche. I would have perished long time ago. Nije wakawa sabiye. Mwebuge mushime esko na wasawiye akariri mbo. Thank Jesus that I ask that on your behalf. Yes Ashimi. Praise Jesus. Nzineza kobri munuwe sashizubge nje kujihe. I'm convinced that if everyone is awakened. Umuto no mukuro. The young and the old. Kuburi ho. The fact that you are still alive, the fact that you are still breathing, the fact that you are still standing, it is by God's grace. Yes, Ashim. First Jesus. It is the grace of no, God. No, and those who get to know God, who are seated in your midst, they know that even though you may not have encountered with an accident, even though you may not have been hospitalized and be very ill, but the fact that you are still alive, uh, Jesus is not working in vain in your life. Often he showed it to you. And even when long time ago before you were saved and he will show you all the death that he escaped and how he has been mighty from the beginning you will be giving thanksgiving offerings every day so happy Easter I wish you a happy Easter I pray that you experience the life of Jesus who has been risen and that is my prayer as well praise Jesus and the word of God tells us that he died and he did not dwell in the and he did not corrupt 
And he was risen on the third day according to the scriptures. So he left the scenes there. And even your carnal nature. And even your sorrow. And he left there even your, your tears. And even poverty. And even an issue of getting rain. And even uh, children who are asked. And even your husband who is suffering. And even the wife who is suffering. And even uh, sicknesses and infirmities. And all the bondage of sins were left. And the last enemy. He was supposed to win. That is why he went that far. Death. So that those who believe in him, that believe even death. Yeah. Because 365 times, he said, I will not leave you, I will not forsake you. But in, a, in other way, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. What is frightening you. Uh, what is making you anxious? How comes you are anxious? Uh, 365 days of a year on a daily basis. Don't worry. Yes, Press Jesus. When he opened his eyes, he revealed himself to Mary Magdalene. He revealed himself to Mary Magdalene. In whom he had chased seven demons. Actually, she was not a harlot as people say. Mary Magdalene. Uh, she was expressing depression. Uh, she had a mental illness. So she had demons of different types that led her to isolate herself because of depression. But he revealed himself to He revealed himself to Kefa. And, and uh, even Peter. Peter Peter. Uh, he revealed himself to Peter. And he, he also revealed himself to his disciples. And he revealed himself to the 500. And when Paul was writing, he said, Some of them are still alive. He revealed himself to Jim. And he also he revealed himself to me. And I'm like the ninth child. I who was unworthy. Because I persecuted people of God. In other words. If he was able to reveal himself to me. He can also reveal himself to you. Yes, Jesus, brethren. Yes, we are Jesus revealed himself to me. He revealed himself to you. Who are those that he revealed himself to? Give a hand clap to him. Yes, Kumasa Hatandu Kanye, Mubi Hevi Tandu Kanye, Muburjabu Tandu Kanye, Yaratuboneche. At different times and different ways, he revealed himself to us. We are all working with the times we experience with him. And we know how he revealed himself to us. In different ways. But you have a proof. You have evidence that you also met with him. We glorify you, O Jesus. If it was not him, if it was not him, I don't know where I'll be today. I don't know where you'll be today. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know the things that he protected you from. I don't know the things that he protected Since you from. You or the things he protected from I you. But those he revealed I'm himself to. You. On such a day as this. We come together and say you revealed yourself to us. And you are still revealing yourself to us today. How did Ezekiel see this? The hope that many people are lacking today. Lacking hope. And not knowing where the answers will come from, it happened also in the past. What symbolizes what Jesus did in his resurrection, uh, God revealed it to Ezekiel a long time ago. 
the sorrow of hopelessness agahinda ko kubura ibyiringiro the sorrow of hopelessness umutima ubabaye umutima wijimye kukutaza hugisubizo kizava a heart that is darkened because it doesn't know where the answer will come from ubuzima bwihebye kuko butaza hugisubizo kizaturuka Life that is in despair because it doesn't know where the answer will come from. We identify now iyo wice yuvuga kuti mukuri sinshobora kubona aho igisubizo cyavu. Identify yourself and when you say I don't know where the answer will come from. Ushobora kwibaza kuti mukuri kwanjye aho ngeza simbona ukuri iki kintu kizahinduka. You may say honestly I don't know how this situation is going to change. Mwami Yesu. Oh Lord Jesus. Turagusaba we ask you speak to the heart that is in despair today you have come to proclaim victory to death and, and we know that all bondage that exists today all sorrow in the heart of human beings it was brought by the devil it came in the world because of sin oh lord jesus we ask you that today resurrection the life that is resurrected that it may give us firm hope thank you oh lord ezekiel chapter 37 what does he say ezekiel ezekiel chapter 37 Ukuboko ku witeka ndasoma mu kinyarwanda hose uze gusoma mu cyongereza Ukuboko ku witeka kwangezeho ansohora ndi mu mwuka aramanura angeza mu kibaya cyari cyuzuyemo amagufu Anzengurukana aho yayakikije hose maze mbona ari menshi cyane muri cyo kibaya kandi yari yumye rwose Mazara mbaza ati mwana w'umuntu mbese aya magufa yabasha gusubira kubaho ndamusubiza ni mwamu witeka ni wo bubize arongera arambira ati hanurira ya magufa mazu yabwira uti yemwe mwa magufa yo mwe mwe ni mwumva ijambo ryo witeka ni ku mwamu witeka abwira ya magufa ngo dore ngiye kubashyira mu mwuka ngo mubeho ngiye kubatera w'imitsi mbakwize w'inyama kandi mbatwikiriza uruho mwamagufamo mbashyire mu mwuka mubone kubaho mwamagufamo kandi mumenye yuko ndu witeka mwamagufamo nuko mpanura uko ntegetswe nge hanura habaho guhinda mbona isi tigita amagufa araterana igufa risanga irindi ryaryo haleluya nuko nitegereje mbona imitsi yafasheho maze inyama ziyameraho byoroswa byose uruhu ariko nta mwuka warubirimwo mazarambira ati hanura hanurira umuyaga uhanure mwana w'umuntu maze ubwira umuyaga uti uko ni ku mwamu witeka avuga ngo uturuke mu birere bine wa mwuka we uhuhe muri iyo mirambo kugira ngo ibeho nuko manuru ko yantegetse maze umwuka uyinjiramo nuko ibaho ihagarara ku maguru yayo ya mirambo yirema mineko nyinshi cyane maze arambira ati mwana w'umuntu ayo magufa na yabinzu ya Israeli yose dore baravuga bati amagufa yacu arumye kandi vziringiro byacu biraheze twaciwe burondo nuko rero hano rubabwira uti uko ni ku mwamu witeka avuga ngo dore ngiye gukingura ibituro byanyu mbibakuremo mwabwo ko bwanye mwe nzabagarura mu gihugu cya Israeli muzamenya yuko ndu witeka igihe nzaba maze gukingura ibituro byanyu nkabibakura mwabwo ko bwanye mwe kandi nzabashyiramo umwuka wanje mubone kubaho nzabashyira mu gihugu cyanyu bwite mumenye yuko ari jyu witeka wabivuze kandi mbikomeje ni kuwiteka vuga imani shimwe cyane the hand of the lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the lord and sent me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of of bones then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in 
the open valley, and indeed they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, you know. And he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause the breath to enter in to you and it shall live. I'll put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and it shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed as I looked the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy son of man, and say to the breath, thus say the Lord God, come from for the four wings, O breath, and breathe on this lane that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came in, into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Then indeed I say, Our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus say the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come upon from your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your grave, O my people, and brought you up from, my, from your graves. And I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. Amen. Nichi. What is going, God speaking today? What was he speaking then? It is giving us an illustration of things that are hopeless. It is telling us a place where there was a life, but where it is no more. Ezekiel. It calls his servant Ezekiel. And he told him what he was seeing. Ezekiel and he said, Ezekiel, we know I I on the please come so that I can tell you the things I'm seeing. To tell you what I'm seeing amidst people. I can see a place where there was life, but it is no more. I can see dry bones. But it can, do those bones that they had flesh before. I can see very dry bones. For God to bring an answer, he used the, the prophet Ezekiel to show the problem that was there. He said, look at the same things that I'm looking at. And before I do something, I want to make sure that we are seeing the same things. This is how the Lord works. This is how God works. Before healing you, before telling you that there is hope and a bright future, God shows you the problem first. God helps you to see so well the issue. Put aside the issue you see on others. God is not concerned for you to look at other people's issues. On your own. Before He helps you on your own, on your own life. 
He does everything possible that you are able to identify the issue. Being poverty, being sin, uh, being a depression in different ways. God wants to work with you according to his ways. So that when he brings an answer, you'll be convinced that he has brought an answer. Yes, Praise Jesus. God doesn't want to surprise people. God doesn't want to wants you to be aware so that you, you give your participation knowing what is happening. Ayamakuru arahurira hese numuzuko. How do we connect this with resurrection? But there is a connection. These people are the house of Israel that used to have a good life in the presence of God. They were people of God. And they disobeyed him. Say a sin. Uh, they, they, re rebels, they did not obey God. Uh, they decided to be stubborn. They did, did doing what they want. Uh, be involved in what they want. Life that takes them where they want. All that is called sin. All that is called sin. Because the characteristic of sin are the fruits that they bear. One sin that uh, brings forth others is to rebel. It's not accept that your, your master is leading you. It's to be your own master. It's to be yourself. To start with you and end with you. You don't have God. You don't have a leader in your life. No one speaks into your life. Yourself, you lead yourself. Even though you may be aware that you are created by God. But that is the first characteristic of and sin. And it brings forth. What does it bring forth? It brings sorrow. It can take long and bring sorrow. The people of God, Israel, and they refused to obey God. And they were aware. God has spoken to them. And little by little, they continue to live as they were. And in the end, they found themselves Baba in the And they lived there for Baba so long. Yo. They lived there for no, so no, long. Yaman, no, 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 no. And God was seeing them as dead bodies in tombs. That's how God sees you when the Spirit of God is not working in you. Or you see as a dead People may see you as alive, but with the presence of God when it's not in you, you are like a dead body. Kuchi. Why? Niba wo nibe shangu kavuga nguza murusengero. Kando tayoborwa ni mana wiyobora nizi na gusarjit kuin sengero amadini akonhabo zimabgi mana ufit uri nombi. If you deceive yourself like that, you come to God, but you don't have a relationship with God, you are like a dead body. Yes, Praise Jesus. And the Lord showed to Ezekiel. And he said, I want to show you the house of Israel. I can see it as a dead body. According to me, it's like he a dead body. Body. He opened his eyes and he said, what are you seeing? And, he said, Israel. and this is the house of Israel. Uh, let me ask you, Ezekiel. Can life come again in those places? Do you think it is possible? And Ezekiel had a relationship Ezekiel with God. He already knew God. But he did not speak out. Our diplomat. 
So he did not speak out. He did not say honestly I think that is impossible. But honestly that is the answer that was in his heart. He didn't say according to him there was no life because he had disobeyed God but he decided to be silent and he said the Lord you are the one who knows and this is the core part of my message the power of love the power of God's love the ability that the love of God has where God sees people as tombs, as tombs they, they, they are, they are and he himself when he looks at a particular person he says even God himself says that person doesn't have life because he have he himself says he thinks he's alive but he's not alive because I'm alive. Jesus said I'm the resurrection and life that's what the God made he said I'm the life he who has me has life and who has me has life and who doesn't have me doesn't have life that is why the one who has me even though he may die uh, he's not going to die he'll live again I'm putting an emphasis on this. God is saying that person is a But he announced the good news of hope. Ezekiel, wewe rumu nari kujenga imani. I say Ezekiel, you are a human being, but I'm God. Ndavu zengo bira shoba kaku buzima bgaza mururi yamu. I'm saying it is possible that life can come again. Nena kaka kumote mavugati bira shoba kaku bia fu ya muri njavi zuka. Oh Lord, you say it is possible that what is there in me can come to life. Say this with hope. Kukuwa wize ni mana ni wize rubge njavu kaku buzima njavi shoba. Because the one you trust in is God, but if you trust in your own mind, it's impossible. Muma so hi mana rero ibzo binu bia saga ni ibzo njavi dahiru kamazi imiti imiti yarafu ya unyama. And God knew that it is possible that that person who appears as dry bones can have life again. Um, I want to tell you it is okay if the message you are hearing telling you that you are like a dead body because if you are not led by the spirit of God if you don't have God in you if you don't have Jesus and work with him we human beings we are limited in the way we see all of us we are limited in the way we look at us but if you are not but in heaven they are saying even though you think that you are alive but you are not alive as it was also promised but the good news today he is risen he was risen the fact that he was risen you should not say that something is impossible Whatever your age, even though people may have said that you are dry, but heaven is saying there is still hope. Amen. Beloved, we should speak the language of God. If it was my own language, I would say all of us we are friends and we are heading to heaven. But the language of the Bible, the, the language of God, the one who doesn't have the Son, doesn't have life. But he, who has the Son has life. Hallelujah. I don't have to exaggerate. I don't have to invent things. But I'm telling you the word of God. But hope. And he said, Ezekiel, this is how I'm going to work with you. Prophesy to the bones. My word. My word. What Ezekiel was requested, and no, I want to show you the relationship with you, is to accept that he was going to be part of the solution. He was going to be part of the solution. 
and said, I'm going to send you my word. It has power. It has ability. This is the word of God that I'm telling you. My word is powerful. Speak what I'm saying. Ezekiel, say what I'm saying. Don't invent. Say what I'm saying. Ezekiel said, I prophesy as I'm saying. And he said, tell them. You dry bones. You bones. You can leave. And now veins, let, let, them come. let the flesh come. Let the skin cover up. And the Bible tells me, even though that's how we looked when the Spirit of God was not in them, they were still dead bodies. They were not, not only, they were not bones, they were flesh. They were bodies. And what made them an army, what made them human beings, what made them human beings is the breath of God that came back to them. Go back. Hanura. Prophesy. Fall upon four winds. And the spirit may come into them. Brethren, I want to tell you without the spirit of Jesus who was risen that is why I'm saying call upon Jesus today call upon Jesus call upon Jesus, call upon Jesus. We teach such things when we are going to baptize people. And we say, if you don't have the son, you don't have it. the one who has the son is the one who has the son of life. As we speak, we teach those who are going to be baptized. And I repeat this those are people who are about to be baptized. When we call upon those who want to be half of them receive Jesus Christ because they realize they don't have life. In them. Beloved friends of God, I want us to go to heaven together. It's not because the world is full of people or that we meet people on the street that all of us we are alive. We are alive according to the standards of this world. But according to God, and according to God, He who sent Jesus, that, so that He can raise people and to give life to those who are going to die. Because God so loved the world, He sent His Son, that whoever believes in Him may have life. But brethren, in the sight of God, there are those you look at as they don't have life. I plead with you, you should not be among them. Don't be among yes, them. Yes. Give a hand up to Jesus. Don't be among them. Them. You. you may not identify yourself as a dead body, but the word of God is clear. He who has the son has life. And who doesn't have the son doesn't have life. This is what God wanted to tell me. I can see dead bodies. Yes, Hashem. When I was saying this in the in the morning session, I was telling the one who has not yet received Jesus. I'm speaking also to the one who has received Jesus, but who's not aware that he's leaving him. And little by little, it may be like the Israelites who were deported to Babylon. The life of Jesus does not say to celebrate uh, his but it means to receive that leader, to receive that guidance, to have that leadership, uh, to bid farewell to lead yourself, and bid farewell to rule yourself. And all of us who are stubborn, that's how we are All of us sinners, that's how we are saved. All of us, the day he came to us, we knew very well that we could not continue to live as we live Of course, the entire truth did not come no, to us. Even today, the life of Christ, it is a staff that guides us. It is a staff that guides us. And he says, this is, not this is the way. What you did, this is not how it's supposed to be. The good things are here. Even now, that staff of me, that word of me, it is the one that gives us life.
ngiye kugusengera i'm going to pray for you yabwiye ezekiel he told ezekiel i i'm not going to say that ndashaka kureba hanyuma nkagutuma tugakemura ikibazo i want you to see first so that i can send you to uh, to so mu gitondo nabwiye bene data in the morning i tell i told my brother ufite umutwaro wese i have a burden of the wall iyo murebe isi when you look at the wall mbere ko musenga reka mbabwira ibyo mbona before you pray i want to tell you what i see ahara ho mubona ibirenze maybe you can see beyond that iyo murebe isi when you look at the wall mukareba ibihugu bisubiranamo and you see conflicts among nations hashiza ameza ngahe nitware muri covid in a few months we've been siyo yari kibazo wasn't it the issue siyo yari kibazo wasn't it the issue ubi kibazo ne essence now the issue is fuel essence turutse he fuel where is it coming from kwa putin is coming from uh, russia essence zanye bihe bibazo what are the issues that fuel is bringing ibiciro our prices are increasing ibiciro bizanye kihe kibazo what is the issue brought by prices ubukene poverty and if poverty persists what are the issues going to bring uh, robbery depression depression and uh, hopelessness and uh, even suicide and even not knowing where to go how comes i have a burden there are things you look at and say i can see where they are to and then i would think if people are complaining if those that jesus Christ give power and authority are complaining if they are also in despair if the situation continues and if there is another issue that arises after the conflict between Ukraine and Russia if we sit those issues of NATO and Russia and Ukraine don't concern us because we're and definitely those issues have a connection with us ese ibibazo bikomeje bityo abafite amasambu muri Kigali bakagomba kwimuka bakajya mu cyaro kubera ko bagomba kugurisha biko bashakaga kuba muri Kigali byose nuruhererekane rw'ibibazo now if those issues persist it is going to be a chain of problems and it is going to affect uh, all the people ese bikomeje bitya umukiranutsa azajya he if it continues on this pace where is the rushes going ese naho abadafite ubwuga mu muri kristo baraza kujya he and those who don't have a shelter in jesus where are they going to go ese umuntu yabuze igisubizo muri isi kwa komanga ko murusha ubushobozi baraza kujya he when a person lacks a, 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 has a problem he goes to the one who is powerful where are they going to go nibo ufite ubushobozi ari nyokorome akaba anti akaba uwo mwiganye mu ishuri na ukazasanga nawe ibibazo byamubanye bibazo uzajya he if the person you think that is powerful uh, that does not able to address your problem where are you going to ariko yesu yatubwiye igisubizo kibi bibazo but jesus told us the answer to all this igisubizo ni we the answer is him bene dati igisubizo ni yesu brethren the answer is jesus kandi ntabwo ari yesu wa magambo and it is not jesus of mere words ni yesu wa menye but it is jesus that you go to know ukashora imizi muri we and you rooted in him ijambo rya rigahora ari guhanurira and his word continues to prophesy to you and you are always you always receive life from him on a daily basis and whenever issues come they stand, they find you firm and whenever issues come they realize that you have the mighty man in you mama wawe na papa wawe umugabo umugore muraza kubura ibisubizo kuko mugomba kwiyubaka ku munyembaraga w'ibihe byose otherwise you are going to lack solutions because you are supposed to build yourself on the one who is powerful munyembaraga w'ibihe build yourself on the one who is munyembaraga w'ibihe byose kandi washoboye i stand on the one who is powerful all the times and who is the one so the love that he loved us turatsinda uh, it is victorious rutsindisi uh, it fights against Ruti the wars and even the issues kumugira nubwugamo when you have him you have a shelter iyo bakacane mu rukundo rwe build yourself in his love iyo bakacane mu mbaragaze edify yourself in his power iyo bakacane kuri urwo rutare edify yourself on that rock ahandi hose numusenye because uh, it is sand everywhere else 
ndangiza iyo parti as i wind up this particular part uko mwumvise nshuti as you have heard my friend jambo ry'imana ryarambiye ngo the word of god told me hari abantu bamwe bazakizwa nkabavuye mu muriro there are those who will be saved as though they are coming from fire abenshi bashobora gukizwa ntacyo bitwaye nka kwa kundi mu bihimbi bibiri bavuze bati isirashize the same way like in 2000 people were saying this is the end of the world kingura umutima wakira umwami yesu Open your heart and receive the Lord Jesus. So that his love can be a protection. Uh, so that you can stand on his love. Because all other things are going to be defeated one by one and you realize that the only powerful man is Jesus. That is why even at the disciples uh, when they had seen him they should not they could not quit him. We are going to pray to God. Ezekiel accepted. And he said tell me what you want I'm going to do. And the Lord said if you have seen what I'm seeing send my word. Uh, help so that we can send my word. So that life can come back again. And so that people can come back to me. And so that they can get out of the tools. They can get out of the tools. Because I see them as they. And give them life. So that they can leave. And bring them back in their land. Put your hand on your heart. And let's pray together. Mwami Yesu, uwo muntu ufite ikiganza ku mutima we. Uwo nguwo kubwira ngo amakuru yawe ameza rya nari ntarayumva. Uwo kubwira ngo mfasha twaramenyanye twarahuye. Nk'imbaraga zishora imizi cyane muri wowe. Mwami ndagusaba ngo bombi uhure nabo. Mwami ndakwereka n'uyu nguyu wibaza ati mfite ibintu ndyamanye byabuze igisubizo mfite ibintu mbana nabyo ntashora kumenya igisubizo cyava ariko umwanditsi wa zaburi yatugiriye neza ngo nduburira amaso ku musozi ngo mbe gutabarwa kwanje kuzava he ngo kuwiteka uwiteka niwe imana uwiteka niwe imana yacu yagaragaye muri Yesu mwami Yesu taha mu buzima bw'ukubwira ngo ndakinguye ngwino mushoboze kukwemerera mugendane mukize kamere muntu mukizi cyaha randuri yo kamere yigenga kamere muyobora kamere mushorera kamere mutwara umunsi ku munsi imutwara aho ishaka imutegeke byishaka imubwira ngo ikintu cyo gikwiriye kandi umutima ubizi neza ko kidakwiye kamere imubwira ngo turajya ha kandi umutima umubwira ngo ya uwo mubiri ayoberwa kwa ugenza ariko mwami paulo yaduha igisubizo ngo nzabaho kubwa Yesu Kristo ngo ni huzankiza ngo taha mu buzima bwabo bantu nzi neza kutagomba diskuru ndende kugira ngo utahe mu buzima bwe uyu munsi nakubwire ngo ndakinguye uze uvuge numve unyobore nkwemerere sindwane nawe unshoboze tugende umfashe unshoboze ariko kirenze byose mubwira inkuru nziza ngo aracyari byiringiro ngo birashoboka birashoboka ko waba muzima birashoboka kutakongera kwiragira birashoboka kutakongera gukora ibyo byose birashoboka unyemereye naza tukabikora mwami ndagushima ndagushima ko wiyemereza umutima wiyemereza uwo muntu wiyemereza abo bantu ubakoreho mwana turangiza mwami Yesu umuntu wese uza kumva ndavuga ngo umuntu wese uza kumva yaha yakire Yesu ndaza kumusaba ngo zamuri kiganze kugira ngo usengerwe none dupfundikire neza tuvuge ngo uvuye mu rupfu ugiye mu buzima kuko Yesu uyu munsi yaratubwiye ngo kuzuka ninge n'ubuzima ninge icyubahiro ni kuzo bibaye ibyawe Yesu dushime cyukoze amashyi ku mwami Yesu give a hand clap to our lord gasaba ko papa musono uri hano i request elder muson who is here ntugire isoni zo kuba wakire Yesu don't be ashamed to receive jesus ninde wumvisa hamagaye Yesu mu buzima was called upon jesus in his ninde wumvisa muhamagaye who called upon jesus ninde wumvisa kinguriye Yesu umutima who has opened his himongire ko mwese mufite Yesu ari he yego ari he yego yego zamura neza yego yego ni murangiza uyu mu papa agarara 
Don't be ashamed to get out of the tomb. Uh, don't be ashamed to escape death. All of you will come and see Elder uh, Charles and he will tell you what comes next. And you have already opened your lives to Jesus. Please let us follow him. Let us follow him. Let us follow him. Let us hear his word. Let us allow him to breathe in our lives so that life, uh, death cannot take us again. again. The last scripture, the power of love, we are going to talk about the woman who poured after the Jesus because we are still talking about the good deeds of the Jesus. We are going to connect this so that we can come back to our theme. Uh, I will read in Kinyarwanda and then we will read in English. Umugore wa muri uwa mudugudu wari umunyabyaha ubwo nuko uvuga yarazwe amenya yuko arira mu nzu y'umufarisayo azana umukondo w'amavuta meza ameze nk'amadahano ahagara inyuma ye hafi ibirenge bye arira atangira kumutonyangiriza amarira ku birenge abihanaguza umusatsi we asoma ibirenge bye abisiga yo mavuta uwa mufarisayo w'umu wa muraritse abibonye arayibwira ati uyu muntu yo abumuhanuzi yajyaga kumenya uyu mugore umukoze hu wari we kandi ko uko ameze ko ari umunyabyaha Yesu aramusubiza ati Simone mfite icyo nkubwira ati mwigisha mbwira hari umuntu wagurizaga wari ufite abantu babiri bamubereye imyenda umwe yari mu mwenda wa denariyo 5000 undi ari mwo mirongo 5000 ariko kuko bombi babuze ubwishyu aziharira bombi mbese muri abo bombi uwarushije undi kumukunda ninje Simone aramusubiza ati ngira ngo no yahari imyenshi na waramusubiza ati uvuze neza akebuka uwo mugore abwira Simone ati akebuka umugore areba Simone urarewe uyu mugore ninjiye mu nzu yawe nti wampamaze yo koza ibirenge icyo ni kimwe ariko uyu atonyangirije amarira ye ku birenge abihanaguza iki umusatsi we Ni wigeze unsoma ariko aho ninjira uyu ni yahwemye kunsoma ibirenge Ni wansiza amavuta mu mutwe ariko uyu we ansiza amavuta meza en plus ku birenge Nico gitumye ibyo mvuze nico gitumye aba bari we bya bya habye byinshi kuko yagize urukundo rwinshi ariko uba bari rwa bike akunda guki abwira umugore ati uba bari we bya habye Amen then one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him, and he went to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of fragrant oil and stood at his feet and behind him weeping. And she began to wash his feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and they anointed them with the fragrant oil. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he spoke to himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. So he said, Teacher, say it. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. And when they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? So Simon answered and said, I suppose the one who he forgave more. And he said to him, you have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins which are many are forgiven, for she loved much. 
but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Amen. What are we going to uh, end up with? The life that has God. Life that is breathed with the spirit of God. There is a way it lives. There is a sacrifice that it gives. There is a, a way to live. If you look in John, you realize that even the disciples were present. Uh, the disciples did not give all the information. Even the disciples of Jesus were present. And even Judas was saying, how comes they are misusing this oil? The life that is touched by Jesus, a life that is breathed with the Spirit of God, it works. The first thing that works is, First of all, you become a sacrifice. You, you sacrifice yourself. Yourself. Even though this woman was told that her sins are forgiven, there is something visible. She already knew Jesus. She had the aroma of Jesus in her life. That is why her worship was to come and pour herself at the feet of Jesus. And she did not spare yes, anything. Yes, when Jesus comes in you, together with the good deeds yes, of the redeemed, she did not spare herself. She took precious oil and she opened the bottle. Uh, researchers say that today that oil will be equivalent to 15,000 years ago. If you convert the, the, the denarius today's currency, actually that oil was for the kings. And that woman had already understood stood that Jesus is king. And she did not spare uh, serving the king and may the Holy Spirit speak May the Holy Spirit reveal you when you are serving the Lord, when you are working for the Lord, when you live with the Lord, you don't spare anything. So she opened up the first thing your life, even you has received Jesus. So those reservations that you have, no. the, whole, the Spirit of God cannot tell you to reserve When the Spirit of God has come in a person, first of all, it breaks you. It breaks you. And as you become stubborn, it breaks you. As you try to be stiff, it is going to break you. There was no seminar that happened, but she was broken. And what she asked that he, she poured herself before Christ, she didn't care about those who were present. She didn't care about those who were present. She started to weep. She, she started weeping. Without caring about those who are look, looking at her. Brethren, can you weep when people are looking at you? That is one of the signs that the Holy the Spirit breaks into people. You try to contain yourself. Uh, you try to contain yourself. But it reaches to a point where even those looking at you don't care about them. She was broken. But for others, it may not be tears that they need to pour. It may be your stature. It may be your studies. It may be the honor that you have in the society. And they, should, they teach you remember who you are. But before the kings of kings, if you bring your studies, money, and honor, you'll not be able to worship them properly. Therefore, serving God, when you are not yet broken, when you have not yet given yourself to him, even though you have the salvation, it is difficult. It is difficult. 
mubiri because the body ukwara mu bitekerezo that works through the mind uzaguha mabwiriza nyuranye na y'umwuka kugira it will give you instructions that are different from what the holy spirit tells nagiye kuba maze gucungurwa i'm now focusing to Uyum those already with you what does this woman teach us? She was broken and poor herself. Don't and Jesus said, from the time I entered into your house, meaning salvation, she did not get any reservation. She did everything from her heart. I want to put an emphasis on this. Uh, it's similar to what I taught previously. The reason why it becomes difficult in our stewardship, even though we have Jesus, is ourselves. The king of kings deserves very important things. And he asks much. And he's asking you. He's asking your time. He's asking your possessions. He's asking important things. And he doesn't ask this just to consume them. He asks them because they belong to him. He asks them because he's the owner. But brethren, as I talk about this woman, after doing that, without caring about people, Jesus told who, those who were present, and he said he is the issue that is among people uh, limited love the lack of love and he said Simon do you know the reason why you didn't do it and even the disciples will find him too the reason why you say the poor and even criticize what you did and criticize the one who works in this way it's because of your limited life. She thought about what I did for her. She remembers who I am in her life. So she gave herself without any reservation. What am I telling you, brethren? Those who have just been saved and the old who have been who are saved. And now, as we focus on the good deeds of the redeemed, let us not have reservations as we serve Let us not have reservations as we serve let us not have reservations. I'm not talking about money. And even about sacrificing yourself. Or, or having an issue to release yourself. Or having an issue to worship in a property. Uh, dedicating yourself to She gave everything she had. But the disciples who were used to the king of kings, and they said, this money who, who should have been used to help the poor. Uh, even myself, that's what I, I would have said. But Jesus saw what is beyond. Yes, Praise Jesus. And he said, uh, it is good to help those who are poor. But this woman, from the time I entered into her life, she's doing uh, extra without any reservation. Beloved friends of the cross, the good deeds of the redeemed, uh, in this Passover or Easter, let us remember what Ezekiel did. Get out and evangelize. Say the word of God. Allow God to send you to those who are perishing. The second thing, in the works of God, we should not have any reservation. I used another name previously because the issue among the people of God is reservation in sacrificing themselves. I'm not talking about tangible things. But surrender and release yourself to God. What did Jesus do into you that drives you to work? 
Because what he did for you is what drives you to go do well. Because if you think that he did little for you, you also give yourself in a, But when you have received a lot, you, you do a lot. Let us took me take measures. Let us take measures on Easter. What did Jesus do to you? What do we remember? And Jesus said twice that her sins are forgiven. How comes he said this twice? It means that her sacrifice, her brokenness, and giving what is precious, her tears, it is also uh, saving her again. Even her sacrifice worked. Yes, Ashim. Praise Jesus. Bakunku. Beloved, Ndangiza. as I wind up, we are going to pray. It is possible that you are seated here and you have things that are overburdening you. Things that you say, I need Easter or Passover. I have an issue that cannot be solved. I have an issue that cannot be solved. Don't be patient to speak to God. Don't be impatient to speak to God. And even the woman who was bleeding one day, he encountered with the power of God. So you should not stop saying that. Please uh, stand up so that we can speak to God. Arise so that we can speak to Jesus. But with regard to our stewardship, Irekure. release yourself. Irekure. Release and surrender. Uh, surrender yourself to the Lord. I surrender your emotions to, to the Lord. Emotions doesn't mean to, uh, to, 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 to cry. Yeah. And even anger. Yeah. Uh, you should not be controlled by your emotions. You need also to surrender them. To and even your precious uh, possessions. Can you give them to Jesus? Can you give them to Jesus? And even uh, your esteem before people. When people look at you. And if people get to know that you speak of Jesus. Do you think that you lose your honor? Are you afraid of people who will get away from you because you have a Do you limit the way you, you commit yourself to the Lord because you are scared of people? Are there things you want to do to the Lord but you are afraid of people? Are you driven to do things in your heart but you are saying if I do it people will think I'm pretending? Are you afraid to stand with Jesus? Do you mix up when people get to know that? But that woman may her be a lesson to us. She was grieved with the worship towards Jesus. Uh, she had one thing in her heart to worship the Lord appropriately. And then there was a sweet aroma. There was a sweet aroma. And when we worship appropriately, uh, the sweet aroma comes to everyone. We are going to pray to God. Lord, you have spoken to us two things. The story of dry bones. And you are telling us there is hope on each and everything. You told us that you don't work alone. And you were telling us that even people like Ezekiel need them today. Lord, you tell us the status of this world and to see how it is. And the answer is you. But can people be saved if we don't Mami, come to them? Lord, I pray that we may touch a person, that we may open our mouth that we may open our mouth and prophesy to those who are perishing and prophesy to those who are perishing because you gave us hope yourself or you are the hope of glory my God you have shown us a woman 
a woman who committed herself to you who spoke be before the, the scribe, and even before your disciples and where it was even written that, that wherever the gospel will be preached this woman will be talked about from the time you came, you came into her life, from the time she met with you, she was not afraid of anything. There was no heavy sacrifice for her. There was no offering that was too heavy for her. And she had no reservation. But Lord, prevent us from being like your disciples who were used to you to the point that they didn't know who you really are. When she had a revelation, of who you are. Prevent us from worshipping as a routine. Prevent us from worshipping you as a routine. Oh Lord, I ask you lastly, he who has an issue, who has tried his best, who has tried his best, everything today, may you encounter with that person. Oh Lord Jesus, may you meet with that person. Because what you want is your glory. What you want is to challenge everything in this life. You want to challenge all the things we lean on with our hearts. To show us the only name that has been put above all that is powerful is yours. May you do that all, Lord. And show that you are a God who controls emotions and who controls even our possessions and who controls what belongs to us. You control time. And you control who we are in our society. Oh Lord, when you go beyond all that, you will be pleased with our offerings. And may you do all that through your grace. And to remember your resurrection. And go back home knowing that there is nothing impossible to you. There is nothing impossible to you. Glory and honor be yours in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Amen. Happy Easter. And uh, uh, have a good time. Amen.